Welcome on back to the Bare Naked Treehouse, everybody. We're doing a home vlog here today. I thought I would uh, address the question that I've been seeing uh, is, why don't you guys film Lake Life Family Channel anymore? We had a second channel. We still have it. And we have not uploaded to it in a long time. So, I was going to show you guys, give you guys a tour today, and then explain to you, me and Stephanie will explain to you why we haven't uploaded to there in forever. So, let's start by catching things up here at the treehouse. First of all, if it isn't obvious, pretty much every leaf in the forest has fallen at this point. What that means here at the treehouse is mom and dad gotta do a lot of cleanup. And I invested in uh, probably the best purchase that I've made in a mechanical device. A backpack leaf blower. Got a full industrial husky. And that baby right there keeps this place in order. If you've never blown leaves with a backpack blower, it is a game changer. And I watched a lot of Ghostbusters when I was a kid. That was big when I was growing up. So, you know, kind of feels like I got a proton pack. All right, let's get a little chicken check. Now, our entire flock contracted the pox recently. Yes, the pox. Uh, chickens get these, you know, like, I don't know, they're like scabby, sore looking deals. It's gross. And I've noticed every flock that I've had has got them. So it's like inherently in them. Um, and even if you have just one chicken, the entire flock's going to get it. If they live together, share the same food, water. And they've already gotten uh, gotten it, gotten over it, and now their immunity is, is getting back. And they look normal. But they were having like these big black spots on their wattles and their combs and everything like that. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. So we basically have a bunch of ornamental chickens that don't do much. Including these roosters. The little rooster buddy there. He never even makes a noise, so he's kind of cool. He stays out of everybody's way. This little fluffer right here, she's meaner than a bloodhound. She'll take your finger off. She looks cute and innocent. She'll square up. She'll square up with you and, and go all day. Colonel Sanders, my main rooster, I've got him, I've got him tamed down a little bit. He just eats out of my hand. There you go, darling. There you go. He's starting to get these big old spurs, but he'll at least like let me kind of touch him. At first he was like just a complete uh, untamed raptor and just wouldn't let me get it close to him. Three eggs? All right, you guys are out of food, you're hungry. We'll give you some of these snacks and I'll get you some more of your regular treats. I'm in the weird stage. This happens every year. Let me know in the comments. Is this this is you too? If you're a hunter and a fisher, it's late season right now. I haven't really got squat hunting. Gotten a couple deer, but you know, definitely haven't filled the tags. And uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm starting to get like over that hump where I'm like, okay, I've missed a lot of the hunting opportunity. You know, now all the leaves are falling off the trees. We're going into winter mode. And then my brain starts to switch gears of like, oh, crappie are going to be stacking up at the creeks. Oh, down south, the bass are going to be moving up. The pre-spawn starts to kind of switch uh, like mid-December for me. And I'm kind of there right now. And I've got a couple of things packed right now. Uh, I've got a just a simple tray full of what I think are going to be pre-spawn essentials. And I've got... Quite a few new plastics that maybe some of you have heard about, some of you haven't, but pretty exciting stuff. So, going to be filming with that this week. Christmas has come early for me in the form of my awesome wife got me a safe for the pew pews. Very much necessary. Especially with uh, the youngest Rugrat that will be, that you guys probably haven't seen that much. He's just a little... Well, he's, he's part of the big reason that we don't film on the Lake Life Family Channel. I've also been working on another bow, a very traditional style bow. Uh, just finished backing it this morning with uh, rawhide. You guys remember the rawhide that I made? Backed the bow with it. This is a gift 
for a friend and I'm making a, uh, this is, this is like a traditional Comanche style horse bow, very short and, uh, it's going to be a short draw, but it's going to be designed to, for you to get on your horse and go take down a buffalo because everybody does that on the weekends now. Ah. Hey, booger. He's supposed to be asleep. What's this going on, booger? Wait, oh, you see a camera? I don't, you haven't really haven't been around the camera very much, so. No, he hasn't. What's going on? Where are you going? Uh -huh. Where are you going? Huh? You trying to pass me? I don't know. See, he woke up from a nap. What is he doing? I'm not sure. He just, he woke up and he's like, oh, I should get into everything. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, what is that? What is that? That's camera. That's camera. Okay. Buddy, you're just on the stairs, mm -hmm. you know, asking for trouble. Oh, he's, just, he's ready to go. go. He's only had a 20 minute Gosh, nap. man, you he's scare me. Go. You scare me so much. Look, he's going down the stairs front, like, front ways. <sighs> okay, can you make it now? Go. Go. Big step. Yeah, getting in daddy's tackle. Now, how many things are you going to get into? Okay. Yes, I'm just going to pack my plastics in there. Eh? <laughs> you are a ham, son. You are a ham. So this is why we have the safe there. I mean, he's just everything. Yeah, let me go grab that crossbow over there. <laughs> well, this is basically this is basically why. You don't need an explanation. You just watch for the next couple seconds, and you'll understand why we don't do like lake life anymore. People people have been asking. Yeah. How how come? You know why why have you guys uploaded in so long and. Mainly it's because if I give my attention even two seconds away from the kids, it's like their world just goes crashing down and they melt. With Ben, if my attention is not on him, he just, he throws tantrums, he runs away crying, screaming. I mean, we were making a gingerbread house for 10 minutes. Then Ben woke up. You know, he's supposed to nap for at least an hour. And I think his nap was 20 minutes, 30 minutes. He comes running down the stairs crying. He sees what we got going on. Uh, Emmy ended up spilling a whole thing of sprinkles all over the floor. <laughs> so I had to go clean that up. He immediately gets on the table and slams Emmy's cider off the table. So it's like, you can't, I can't plan anything. What do you want? Why do you want that? There is no time for extras. <laughs> extra stuff, reflection, thought for yourself. Uh, you know, when I'm home, it is, it's just, it's just noisy. It's so weird when I go somewhere, when I get out in the woods and on the water, I'm like, it is so quiet right now. It's just me and it's nature. And uh, for, for you, you know, you I really don't, don't have that, that escape <laughs> all that. that often. So yeah. I just, for anyone out there that doesn't have kids it's, hard it's to... very hard to explain but it, it's just a selfless grind every hey. day <laughs> and that's the difference between having a boy right there and having a girl so emmy you know they just made this sweet little gingerbread house and she's starting to get you know she's very crafty she's very creative She's uh, she's got a lot of Stephanie's qualities, and then we have a boy bam, bam, that is just right is just bam bam. He's trying to hurt himself every day. It's like, what can I grab that is sharp? That can I throw things? How can I get as high as possible on something and teeter on top of it and scare my parents to death? It's a, every second of the day. If I'm not covered in some type of stain, like I don't know what that is. If something from his face or his hands by the end of the day, I'm not doing it right, apparently. We had a date night last night. 
we dropped the parent we dropped the kid off <laughs> at my parents. We dropped was, the parents it, off it, too. It, it we were a, no longer parents uh, oh, last night. <laughs> it was we had a date to ourselves. This is why I, I kind of wanted to make this vlog today. Is because we had we had a perspective again of what it used to be like for you for you, those of you that have watched my channel for so long when it was just me, Steph, and Winston, and it was just a quiet house, and you had time. It was like, hey, do you want to go? Uh, Run to mouth? Uh, or yeah, Train or just, I, don't, I don't know. Whatever. It's just you had those idle moments to think and. And now it's just, uh, it's just you're reacting a lot. It's a lot of just reacting. So this, this is the grind. This is kind of like we're filming a lake life today on my channel. Um, but where did they go? <laughs> on the daily, this is, this is what we have. And there's just, it just is what it is. <laughs> like it's rowing, whacking, hitting, jumping. He's a sweet little boy. He is. But he's he's, he's a boy. Just, he's just a boy. He's a little boy with blondish hair, which I had when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. He's your twin. I had. He's he looks twin. just like I did when I was a little boy. So having the one child, you know, things become busy. But when you when you have multiples, it is just one thing after the other. And then they then they get into it with each other, and I think I think it is important to have genuine time with the family and have boundaries with the camera. Uh, it is a balance. I come home and I think it's important to have good quality time before I, I leave again. You know what I mean? I, you, you gotta, you gotta make mom happy. You do. And you know what? I really appreciate that you do have boundaries. Like when you come home, most of the time, if you're not editing or vlogging, you're home. And I'm home. You're, and you're with the kids and Emmy and Ben is starting to get there, but Emmy, Emmy loves you. She loves spending time with you. She, you can tell, like she, she misses you when you're gone. Where's Daddy, I want to do this with, it, with Daddy. A lot of that, I want to live through my own lens, through my own eyeballs. It takes everybody's effort. Mm -hmm. there's, there's still so much that we could vlog. It's just the amount of time that I would spend behind the camera and not with them. So mm -hmm. it's the quality time that they need right now for yeah well in the long run that is what is most important so i know some of you probably you want to see the chaos you want to see the craziness that is going on here if y'all are parents out there we are just like you guys and we're just trying to do the best for our children we're so just trying to make it through the day <laughs> and a lot of times we're just trying to make it through the day what we're trying to say is you guys take up all our energy <laughs> and all our time and that's okay it won't always be like this. You're like little seeds that we're planting that will hopefully grow up into semi-decent plants one day. <laughs> now, where's the other one? I don't know. She's playing in a room. Side note, cookies are here. It is time to drink the beverages and eat the sugary treats. It's just that time of the season. There's one uh, pecan sandy left. This is uh, this is an excellent cookie out of uh, Big Plug. I was gonna uh, say you're OSG's, doing a plug for me. OSG's book, mm -hmm. um, known as the Cookie Lady in our neighborhood. A bunch of chopped up pecans in there. I love pecans. Baby, <laughs> what are you doing? Taking who for a walk? My animals. Oh, the animals. The unicorns. Animal favorite walks. What do we have in here tonight? Um, well, you told me, so I got that out. I'm going to do a... Shoulder stew. I'm going to do an enchilada stew. Enchilada soup with that. Okay. Just kind of a kind of a bowl, like juicy bowl kind, yeah. of, kind of deal going on. I'll probably some on. rice on the side that you can either throw in there or keep separately. The way I've been processing my deer, y'all is I'll kind of, I'll cut up the different parts of the, uh, the quarters and depending on the muscle groups, I'll package them accordingly. I'm trying to explain the culinary methods of the white-tailed deer. This is called shoulder stew. And this is, I think the... He's okay. This is why. I'm not. Okay. 
I mean, just took a hard fall to the noggin right there. Pretty sure he's got a permanent noggin egg on his uh, on his noggin, just from how many times he's hit it. Anyway, shoulder stew, y'all. Uh, I believe this to be the upper part of the front quarter, and I've just chunked it up. So uh, I make like like little half inch to one inch um, cubes, basically, and I just vacuum seal them, and then we use that. I've, I've got quite a bit of burger left. Still got some of the elk, but I find that we use this stuff a lot for bowls and stews and everything like that. And instead of just making a ton of burger meat that we'll have till 2047 uh, i like doing it like this and it's cheap you know it's a lot cheaper to just cube it yourself it takes a few hours to do it at home but you know you're not spending four or five hundred bucks at the processor every time get the sausage and all that kind of, all that stuff's great but if you got a couple of deer you just want to do yourself save some money i recommend doing those little cube bags make them you know a little family size and then you're good to go so so a little diced onion Little simple ingredients. If you wonder why I haven't had my own cooking show right now, it's because of these. I got that one over there. <laughs> Have your own cooking show. I I would love to see your own cooking oh, show. Man. You know, okay. maybe maybe when you're like Maybe when uh the, I these, have some time. these two are what do you think that what do you think it is? You think when they're like he's five? Yeah. When he's five yeah. and she's eight years old. old then there'll be like a what do you got there bud oh this is a can opener thank you it's just like a hardcore pause button on your on your life yeah, what you is got it? it you got it you got it okay got thank it. you Can you put that in the drawer put it in the drawer thank you yeah. close that up <laughs> How chewy do you think this one's gonna be? Mm, I don't know. That's why I started it early. Let it simmer. So, oh yeah. Break down. <laughs> you might uh, get if I really know it's gonna be a bad, it's gonna be a toughy. Like lower shank, I'll just call it like I, I make sure to label it like very tough marinade stew. Yes, that long, helps me because I have no cook. idea what these things are. <laughs> right. You know, there's some good cuts of leg meat that you can actually grill that are very tender, they kind of cook up like a steak, and then there's other parts of the muscles that are like very tough. I'm starting to learn which ones are tough and which ones aren't, but as of right now, a lot of them are mixed, so one bite is like, <laughs> chew toy, and the other bite is like, wow, Ooh, that's, that's, good. that's amazing. Like, how do I get those soft bites every time? You just, you gotta know the muscle groups. You gotta know your butchering. Takes a little and skill. And also, what's the, what's the skin that's on? Not the skin, but the um, oh, the sinew. You yes. gotta eat that off. That's what makes yep. it taste gamey and makes it really tough. Yeah. So, so some of these pieces that you had in here. Um, I know. I got a little lazy. Yeah. So I took out this. Like that just is gonna look or taste terrible with all that sinew on that there. That is. That is gonna taste real bad. So I just went ahead and took that I out. I got a lazy with that one. So what you can do sometimes on those? That's a shank, a lower shank piece. You can take your uh, your knife. And you can actually, even on the small pieces, I do this on all my back straps, you know, basically fillet off the sinew, but you can take those little shank pieces, get in between each muscle group and fillet it out. And it takes a really long time mm. and you end up with like small pieces, but it's all tender meat when you take that sinew out. Mm, I bet. It's a lot of knife work though. My dream one day, one day at our, our house in the future is I'm going to have, I'm going to have a barn, a barn that houses the boats and the ATVs and the camper and all that kind of stuff. And then I want to have a meat locker where I can hang meats. I can hang, hang my wild game for as many days as I want. Maybe even have it salted in there, you know, like dry age, wet age, all that kind of stuff. And then I have a butchering counter with like a hose with a drain in the floor. So when I come home from a hunting trip or a fishing trip, I go into the processing room and then knock it out and then store it. And 
you know, we got meats. <laughs> we got meats forever. And then have a garden. I was going to say, while we're talking about this, can we talk about what we all want? I would love a, a garden shed. You know, one of those things is like... A, like a Joanna garden shed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Not just like. You don't have the greenest thumb, though. Excuse you. I have done both the front and the back landscaping. You better oh, take that back right okay. now. That is a dead plant, if you ask me. Fair to that say that. Fair. Is it fair that to say fair. everything you've ever tried to grow has died? No. What is not. still What is still living right Our now? Our entire backyard. What vegetable? Oh, okay. Vegetable. Well, vegetables have seasons. So, of course, like, I grew tomatoes. Hey, have you seen our pumpkin over here? I grew that, okay? All of those little pumpkins I grew. <laughs> and yes, the pumpkin plant died because it goes in a cycle. Of course they're gonna die, you gotta replant. You know what? First of all, whose idea is it to live in the woods where there's all shade and there's no sun? It's very hard to grow things in the shade, I will say. But we got animals. We could eat possum meat for the rest of our life if we wanted to. Okay. I got this mask, but after I ate some of it, I gave it back. Oh, okay. Oh, that was very nice of you. Yeah. Yeah. Happy? You're getting fed? Yeah. I ate all my chicken. Oh my goodness. Wow. High five. That is huge. Killing the game. Mm -hmm. What was the trick? Mm, balsamic. Vinegar. Balsamic she, vinegar. She loves balsamic. Don't get sleepy. Finish your dinner. Be a champion. Folks at home might be wondering, like, this is this is crazy, yeah. but this is just normal. Oh yeah, I this is a normal evening. Well, I feel like if you have kids, you understand. I, I, I guarantee it. Like, there's I guarantee there's, it. There's no way you have kids and this doesn't happen. If you don't, this seems like crazy madness. So it might be really good birth control for those of you wanting kids. Don't get discouraged. <laughs> They're worth it. You just gotta. <laughs> got to take the, the good with the bad. Yeah! That one. Yeah! Say, I'm cute at times. Yeah! Aww. Look at that. He's giving me a hug. He is a good hugger. He's a good hugger. When he I come home. He goes up to Emmy and gives Aww. her a hug. That's the cutest thing. Little buddy. Love you, little buddy. So. I think you guys have your answer of why we have we have not uploaded on Lake Life Family Channel. Giving you a taste of it here though, so smash that like button for, for rolling during the madness. Wouldn't have it any other way. And um, you know, when I'm not filming, I'm just in, I'm enjoying the fam and I'm taming the tigers. You can always follow OSG on her uh, on her social Instagrams. She posts all sorts of kid kid things, oh, yeah. all the family, you know, over on family stuff, and food things, and all that stuff. So look at it. He's just doing donuts around my leg. All right, kids, play nice. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I've got to go put some fishing poles in our rod tube, and then head to the lakes where the fish live tomorrow. So I'll see you guys back in the great outdoors but thank you for tuning in for an episode here at the treehouse you got this here see you on the next one.